Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Hey, by now everybody pretty much knows about Grubhub and how its shares have tanked. Um, I'm sure everybody's heard the article. Um, a lot of creators have been reading it on the internet. But I came across this article of a shareholder who kind of sheds his, his view on this and I want to know what you guys think. Well, I'll just read it. He says, um, let's face it, Grubhub is no longer growing as quickly and as seamlessly as it used to in the past. The country's biggest food delivery service, beset by rampant competition from fast-growing startups like Uber Eats and DoorDash, and catering to a fickle customer base who have little loyalty to one provider versus another, is experiencing some serious growing pains. Okay, so he's saying, you know, they're just going through growing pains right now. And I know that um, other people have talked about this, this portion of this article before. But um, he's saying this. He says, I view Grubhub's current problems as no different than any company that has reached a substantial scale. After all, Grubhub is pulling in revenues at north of greater than one billion annual run rate. Okay. Certainly any business that has become this large is sure to attract, to attract competition and scale-driven growth fatigue. I also continue to be encouraged by big ticket partnerships that Grubhub is capable of drawing in. Longtime followers of Grubhub will note that a large portion of Grubhub's growth last year and a big driver of the increase in its share price has been the national expansion of its partnership with Yum Brands, that's Y-U-M, uh, the franchiser behind fast food titans such as KFC and Taco Bell. Grubhub's reach has expanded this year to include McDonald's, an announcement that pronounced a short-lived pop in, Grub holds, in Grubhub's share price last month. And most recently, Wendy's, which previously was locked into an exclusive argument with competitor DoorDash. Other recent ads or expansions include Applebee's, Dunkin' Donuts, IHOP, Panera Bread, and Shake Shack, and Subway. Needless to say, all national titans with hundreds or even thousands of locations each greatly expanding Grubhub's reach. Okay. Then he says, I'd rather value Grubhub based on this potential, not on a down year for profitability in which Grubhub is deciding to invest heavily into growth. While fully acknowledging that Grubhub's growth path is fraught with competitive concerns, we also like the fact that the company is playing in a tremendously large market with plenty of room for growth for all players. While I'd like to see higher growth rates and a quicker stabilization in DAG growth rates, I'm happy to stick with Grubhub at, a, at its current rock bottom share price and wait on the longer term recovery. Okay guys, so what do you think? Do you think Grubhub still has a chance to recover? Um, cause this guy's saying it's normal for any business that's become this large to and to attract this kind of competition to go through um, this kind of growth fatigue. So what do you think? I don't know, he's saying he's happy to stick with it and it's that it's just normal. What do you guys think? Put your views in the comments for me. I'm curious to know what you all think. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. I wanted to keep this short tonight. Um, stay safe on the roads. And if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you always get my latest updates. Okay guys, thanks and have a great day. Bye.